everyone, I'm Mind, and when I woke up this morning, I saw this tweet from Jay from Jay's Brick Blog, and he said, here's the first look at the new 2023 Chinese New Year sets, with this accompanying image. Now, I was very tired when I saw this, and I was like, oh, okay, so we have Year of the Rabbit set, we have some little, like, display sets. Oh, and I guess they're just advertising the Monkey Cake Mac from 2020. Then, a little bit later, I looked at more images, and I realized, oh, wait, no, that's not the Monkey King Mac from 2020. This is an all-new set. So we have these images here from the Instagram account Dylan Chow. Now, right now, the Chinese International Import Expo is going on, and I guess Dylan Chow is there. And at that event, like, it was revealed all the new Chinese New Year sets, as well as one monkey kid set, this giant Mac. Now, I have mixed feelings on this thing. On the one hand, I do think it looks very cool. I like how they ditched, like, the vinyl cloth pieces for more brick-built ones. The vinyl does look prettier, but this feels more like Lego to me. And then on the opposite end, I like how they ditched the brick-built tassels for vinyl ones. I think that looks a lot better, too. Not sure how I feel about removing the flags at the back in favor of these, like, cloud pieces. I think the flags did look very cool. And then, obviously, this Mac is a lot more armored than the original, much bulkier, especially like in the chest, and there's like much thicker fingers to it too. But at the end of the day, my biggest hesitation with this set is it does feel very similar to something we had before. It's very similar to the original Monkey King Mac. And you know, maybe the Monkey King Mac is Monkey Kid's Destiny's Bounty. Like, they're just gonna get a new one every three years, and that's fine. But while aesthetically this is quite different from the original, I feel like the skeleton underneath everything is pretty much exactly the same, so I wish there was a bit more to mix it up. I wish it was in, like, a slightly different scale, or that the head looked more different, or they did just something else to mix it up. Because, like, while the armor on top does look a lot different, and I'm not sure if I prefer this or the original, at the end of the day it just seems like it is the same set underneath. Though I guess we'll have to see when it officially comes out, because I'm basing it off this picture. Build aside, the minifigures in the set look amazing. The bad guys, we do have a more close-up picture of, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But the good guys, you can see we have an all-new Monkey King, Monkey Kid, as well as this guy, who I'm not sure who that is. He's got glasses like Tang, so it could be Tang, but obviously Tang does not have this kind of hair or this kind of outfit that we've ever seen. So if anybody knows who that might be, let me know in the comments. But yeah, Monkey Kid in this white armor is very cool, but it's not a color he's really used, except for in, like, a spacesuit. So it's awesome to see them mix that up. Also, this armor piece in silver is very nice to get. That could be very useful for customs. And this new Monkey King is cool, too. I like how they went with yellow for him. And it also looks like he has an all-new staff piece this time around which is very exciting. Especially the ends of those stabs look straight out of the show, so I can't wait to get that piece. Here's another picture of the mech from Dylan Chow. This one seems to be more battle pose. The eyes look less goofy on this one too, because yeah, in this picture they don't look the best. So yeah, no, don't get me wrong, it looks like a cool set, but in my opinion it just looks so similar to the original Monkey King mech that I can't say I'm like that excited for the build. Coming back to Jay on Twitter, he posted this picture from Wooden Duck on Weibo, and I believe Weibo is a Chinese social media site. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. And they posted a more up-close image of the villain figures in the set. So these are the demons from the Lion Camel Ridge, and they are the Lion Lynx demon, the Yellow Tooth Elephant demon, and the Eagle. Now, these guys I do really like, however, I do feel like they're maybe a little bit over-designed. I just feel like there's maybe too many colors going on, because there is a lot here. And they're all very bright, right? We have the orange, the bright yellow, the purple, the teal, and then obviously the white and the black as well. I don't know, it kind of feels like a lot to me. But that aside, the actual pieces and designs used here are very cool. I especially like this, like, underneath the headpiece for the elephant here. And that's a cool technique that I actually really like to see them use more in the future. Because it feels very organic, fits with the Lego head, but obviously allows them to still use normal heads instead of a fully molded head. The eagle I don't think is as good because I think the orange is a little bit too bright, but the actual design of the beak is very cool. And I think the lion lynx demon is probably the best one, because while I like the pieces on these two more, the colors on this guy are the best, the cape on him looks really cool, and his color scheme just seems a little bit more consistent to me. But yeah, as a whole, I'm very excited for these figures, and I hope we get more figures in the same vein in other sets. But yeah, these guys are way more exciting than the shadow monkeys from last year. I cannot wait to see what else Monkey Kid has in store. Oh, also, the eagle comes with these golden wings, which that's very cool as well. I I feel like that could be useful for customs. And now we're gonna jump over to Brickset because then we did have one official picture of this set revealed. So now you can see it here in like HD and that doesn't really change my opinion on this thing. Like don't get me wrong, it still looks good, but I can just see how similar it is to the original. Like the way it's stanced up, that's exactly the same as the way the original stands. Those elbows are exactly the same. So I just worry this set's gonna be too similar to the old one, which may make people less interested in it. It does look like it has this little like flyer side build off to the side. That's potentially interesting. Or maybe that comes off the back. Obviously it's blurry in this picture, but that could be cool. And then obviously, again, the minifigures look amazing. I can't wait to get them in hand. And now to wrap things up, because we're here, we'll take a quick look at the Chinese New Year sets. First, we have a Duplo one, obviously. Don't really care about that, but it looks fine. And then we have the money tree. This is not something I'm personally interested in, but it seems to be more in line with like the bonsai tree set. So it's cool to see them mixing things up for the Chinese New Year sets. And it does look pretty cool. It's just not a set for me. And then we have the Lunar New Year display. 
Really like how they did the stands on this one. And there's a lot of really cool parts going on here. Like the splattered egg pieces in pink to be parts of the flower. That's amazing. Also printed butterfly piece is very cool. Because the butterfly piece I believe came out last year. But I don't think we've gotten it printed yet. So that's an awesome way to mix things up. But yeah, at the end of the day, this is cool. But it's just not for me. It doesn't look bad by any means. Just not the kind of set I'm interested in. The only one of these sets I'd consider getting is the Lunar New Year Parade. And there's a couple pretty interesting things going on here. First, these two characters in the front. This girl and this guy. They have these giant masks. Which use the big fig Thanos head. That is really awesome. I really hope to see the LEGO use that for like more characters in the future. But that's the first time I've gotten that head reprinted like for a different character. So I'm very excited for those. New rabbit mask piece. They're not just reusing the old one. I like the teal outfits on these characters. Obviously they're quite blurry. But I think they could potentially have some really cool parts. I'm excited to see those figures up a little bit closer. These like two color jackets are pretty cool too. This guy has an all new face print with like buddy glasses. That's a lot of fun. Bubble tea right there. And then we have a Lego float at the very end, which has the giant brick built bricks. The blue and the yellow, I feel like we've gotten before, but this orange one at the front is definitely all new. So that's very exciting. We also have a purple classic space helmet and air tanks. That's to go with the classic space torso that came in the minifigure series earlier this year. So for classic space fans, it's exciting to finally get that. Oh, and they're recalling the Will Byers hair in black here which is a really good hair piece that I feel like they've really underused. So that's actually pretty exciting to see. Also, the bright yellow pieces used are pretty exciting, especially like the cloud pieces up here. Oh, also, I don't know if I ever said the name of the set, but this is called the Monkey King Ultra Mech. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these sets. As I said, the mech, I don't think it looks bad by any means, but it just doesn't really feel original enough for me to be excited. Still, I'm definitely going to cover it on the channel at some point, but I have no clue if that's going to be early or like first thing in January or later in January. But at some point, I will cover this on the channel. Also, stay tuned because I have a really exciting video coming later today. It's all edited and ready to post. I'm just going to push it back a few hours because I want to get this news video out first. But I think that's about all to say for this video. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do later videos just like this one almost every day. So if you subscribe, you're the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.